Hello everyone and welcome back to Polar Bridge. So last time I finished all levels in, or the last level in Aedes Fanlon. So today I'm going to play a sand, sandbox, steam workshop level. So a leap of match. This level here, 12 m drawbridge. Okay, I only have one point here and I guess that, that car goes pretty fast, okay. So, we don't have any cable, we have steel, and we have 11,000, okay. So, first build a jump. And turn grid off. Move it, like, as close as I can. Move it third, move it, like, away from it. And then place the last piece of road. And hopefully we can get this to work by just making some triangles here. Or if we can get it to work by adjusting this, it's pretty darn easy level. So I don't think so. And there's a lot of steel available, so I don't think that this will work. But we're over budget. Okay. So the balance is wrong. Hmm. How is it hanging? Like that. That's interesting. So you need to balance it right. And I have read post on the forum on Steam on how the physics in this game works. So like the weight is in the nodes and not in the like beams. So how do I do this? If we get more weight here, it will just go to the other side. So what I should do is get more weight on the other side. Let's start from the middle. And I want to have it pretty balanced. One, two on that side. And let's see what happens if I have two on this side as well. If what I read was correct, this should be perfectly balanced. And let's try one with the spare. I don't know, I'm over budget, but I mean, yeah, and it's not really perfectly balanced, actually. So it might be something wrong there. I need to lower it here. But it's so freaking fast, so... How do I do this? Hmm... It would be so much easier if I had one freaking point on that side. Or a point on somewhere else on the map. Because now I just need to use balancing. If I have it heavier on this side, it will go to that side. And if it pushes against the wall, that would be really good. But the problem is, if I have it like this, the center of gravity will be on this side, rather than this side. And I think I want... Oh, we only have four road. For some reason I thought we had five. Don't know why I thought that, but I still thought that. Let's connect and see what happens. Okay, going away. heavier on that side and we don't have any road. Concrete would be really good to have on this level or a material like it or like lead. So you can weight down the bridge. That is just a lot of nodes. 
so that's five, I think. Yeah. No, it doesn't break. Great. That was kind of a hard bounce. Huh. That's interesting. Let's see what happens if we make that straight. Like it still happens. I think you should get it to touch that wall. But to do that, you need a lot of weight on this side. And I don't have the ability to give it a lot of weight there. And I need to reinforce this area here with steel, probably, so it doesn't break. And this. This map is a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I'm really curious about how people solves it. So if you play this level, leave a comment down below to a link where you show your solution, because I'm quite interested to see it. And I'm a lot better at normal bridges than weird ones like this. Okay, that's at least traveling the distance. And it's under budget, but it breaks. I don't know if it's a map where it should break. But I will probably try to get it not to break. Let's see what that does. And if this doesn't change anything, we'll need to change quite a lot, actually. But I will need to slow it down to 10% to see if the car moving it's really, really slowly. Rolling down. Rolling down. Okay, the car breaks that one first. Don't think I can reinforce that one in a good way. But what I can do is rise this thing up and this one as well. Because it drops down a little bit before the car can, like, lands on it. Now it's more straight. Now that one breaks, but I think I could actually do this. And this might work. Oh crap, the road broke. So if I can fix the road, it should work. It's like super low stress amount. So this might fix it. I just increased the height. Okay, that made it worse. Let's see here if it breaks again at the same place. If I remember correctly, this might help. So a joint have increased weight from or increased weight, increased strength from what's connected to it. So if I do something like this, it could actually help. As of it didn't, it did break in a different way, but it could have been because this one was moving. So let's place it on the underside. Like this here breaks. Probably need to change that piece a little bit. Like that, maybe. Get wood like this here. That one will probably break now. Okay, they all broke, kind of. It's hard to see when there's so high speed on the car. That one breaks now. The last one, I have a bit of money left, so I can do something like this, maybe. But in, it increases the weight on the side, so I could remove things here to make it lighter. Increase the 
increase the height here a little bit. Maybe do like that to reduce the cost. That did not help. So let's see if we have to change that and have the same angle. That's lost. Okay. Changing the angle a bit. I think that's straight. Okay, better. That one breaks. So going upwards like that, maybe? It's a lot of testing doing this. Okay. Which one of those wood pieces broke now? Okay, I should probably play it on higher speed and then pause here. And slow it down to like... 10, maybe? Okay, that one. So, this one breaks because it gets more stress than the other one. So I move it to the side, so more stress goes through the right one. Still the same, I think. And there's a bug with the speed. So, you need to kind of... It doesn't like when you change the speed when you're paused. Still red, or still the same thing for break, so I should just move it to the side again. And see if that helps. That did not help, that moved the center of mass to the other side a bit. Yeah. Can I steal there? This might actually be the solution, you have to change that steel. That was an interesting jump. So, the solution I had lost had more nodes. So what I need to do now is add more freaking nodes. So I get it in the same angle as before. Okay, the steel breaks. Still shouldn't break. That's like a rule of steel. Okay, snaps that one. I've at least finished the level, but I want it not to break. Breaking is like a no-no in my book. Need more weight here, but I don't think we can afford it, actually. This is quite a big problem. If it works, we can at least sh change some stuff to remove the budget, but, or reduce the budget, not remove it. Removing it would be really weird. I'd probably finish it. Or did it jump too far? Did you actually jump too far? Yeah, you did. You fast little car. Angle on the last one. Then you break. That works! We're over budget, but it works. Okay. Now we need to lower the budget where we can. So start with a save, because why not? This will reduce the cost a little bit. By doing that, does it still work? Yes, it does. Awesome. Maybe move this just a little bit. Now we're precise out of the, on the budget, and it works. Perfect. So, if you like this video, like it. If you want to solve this level yourself, download it or subscribe to, to it on the workshop or whatever. And in the comments, leave a link to your gallery solution. Should just probably share this here. Too slow or too fast. Let's get it at a normal speed. And remove the stress so it looks a bit better. I think bridges looks a lot better when you have stress off, and that probably is better, yeah. Looks a lot nicer. Share, sand, great. 
So I really like this level. It was different and hard and you really need to balance it out on like the side so are in the right position. And I think I would have a lot of problems with it if I hadn't read the physics breakdown of the game. 